Howdy folks! Today we're going to take an early look at Railroader. Now a lot of you may be new here, so I'll just uh, caveat this. I don't do scripts or anything, and this is just going to be a first look. So it's going to be my raw reactions to hopping in, and we're going to run through the tutorial. A big shout out to the Railroader devs for giving me a key to check this out early and share it with you all. So again, I want to reiterate, reiterate that this is an early build of an early access release. So there's going to be problems, there's things missing. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat is there's no audio settings. So I'm going to have to manage that with the Windows mixer because, oh boy, the loco is loud. <laughs> but let's dive in. We're going to go in and the tutorial, I'm told, takes about 60 to 90 minutes. So I'm probably going to break this up into uh, various parts. But I'm just going to hop in. All I've done so far is I went into the game and I walked over to the loco and the dynamo was screaming in my ear. So... I haven't done anything. I don't know really what to expect, but it's a short line operations and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's hop in and take a look. Uh, now, Adam, the lead dev said I should probably just hop in and do single player new game company mode and that will kick off the tutorial. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to leave the random name here. The Northern Silva and West Balsam Railroad. Sounds good. And you can pick uh, different places to start. Eventually, right now we have East Whittier. Let's hop in. It uh, loads up pretty quick. I'm just running this on default settings. I think it picked ultra for the graphics. And again, this is early build of an early access release. So it's due, they just announced on their Discord, December 15th, I believe 9 a.m. I forget which time zone, but December 15th is the day. So here we are in game, it's beautiful. And I can look around with the mouse. I've I've adjusted the mouse a little bit. It was it was uh, very. Uh, what am I trying to say? You couldn't turn very fast, so I had to turn that up. East Whittier after the flood. Today is the day we've our own railroad, the Atlantic Railway. I might need some proofreading here, but again, I, I can't stress this as enough. This is an early build of an early access, so it will change probably by the time you get your hands on it. Uh, so there's a bunch of text here. Basically, it's going to walk us through how to do stuff. Uh, we're going to do some basic tasks, including, I think, re-railing re that locomotive over there. But it's got all the standard controls, WASD, Shift, Spacebar. Uh, there's two various ways to look around. So here's the outside view. There's my little guy right there. You can zoom with the mouse wheel. And then we have, of course, the first-person perspective. You can also zoom in that. You can zoom right in, so... No trouble seeing those distant signals. So we got that. Uh, now it wants us to climb aboard. Now this is where it may get really loud. Uh, there's some nice bird sounds in the background. I don't know if those will come through because I've turned the windows mixer down. As you'll see what I mean as we get up here. The, dy the dynamo is very loud on here. So I've turned that down. Hopefully it's not gonna be too annoying. It wants us to climb right up here. Whoop, what? Right up here in the engineer seat. And we're a little zoomed in. So I'm going to scroll back a little bit here. You can change your kind of field of view. So we're going to climb aboard, and it says we can open the window, which we can. And we can lean out. And then if we click middle mouse, it'll reset our zoom. Kind of switches between the two. All right, let's stop leaning. So we're gonna find the ladder we got. Okay, we got in here and it wants us to find the four basic controls. So we have our reverser, we have our throttle, we have our independent brake, and then our train brake. Uh, they each have a handle. Yep, yep. Independent and train brakes. Now I kind of understand the basics of trains. So I'm gonna kind of skip through some of this. We'll see how it goes. Throttle is set. Yep, yeah, throttle and reverser. Selecting your engine. Let's look at the engine from the outside. Which overhead with two, and then shift two. To okay, so two and then shift two centers it on the character. All right. Control click on your engine. Okay, control click. Ah, here we go. Got a little window pop up. So this is the inspector. Can you've used uh, click the select button in the bottom left corner. Ah, okay. So now we have controls down here. 
When engine is selected, the select controls are shown in the bottom left corner. All right. So we got train brake. Oh, these aren't labeled unless you hover over them. Okay, so we got train brake. Okay, so brakes on the left, throttle reverser on the right. Got it. We got our train brake, and then we got our independent brake down here. All right. And we got speed in miles per hour down here. And you can see it says we have two cars and it's 70 tons. There we go. Got a HUD brake. White beige is fully released. Is that here? I think that's here. All right, let's get started. How do we go? <laughs> oh, we can we can hit the bell. There we go. Oh, it stops. It stops it. Cool. Uh, H or shift H. Whistle low or high. Oh, we got to blow the whistle. It's a train game. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, v, move mouse up and down to quill the whistle. Oh, that's cool. Well done. Well done, Jeffs. Uh, cycle the headlight sighting. Whoa, whoa. The mouse control is a little funky. Okay, so we can turn those between different settings. And we can select track selected car. First person jump to suck at the car. All right, so we can just go zero to track the engine, and we can hop right into first person. Oh, and that switches the seats. All right, cool. Next, we'll cover how to top off your water and coal. Yeah, we're going to need water and coal to move. Using the overhead cam, follow the track ahead of your engine to find the water column and coal conveyor. Yeah, got those. Need to go up here. Then we got switches. Okay, so we need to switch the switches. We just click on them. Oh, cool. So that one's already set. That one's good. Uh, this one we need to throw. Nice animations there on the switch stand. Okay, we got the targets there red for reversed. First step, let's move our engine out of the shed, planning to stop the water column first. Okay, so we've got our water column here. Start ringing the bell and give the whistle two blasts. We are moving forward and we need to open the throttle. Okay, let's get, let's get this thing on the road. Now, one thing I'm not sure about is, um, can I reopen the tutorial if I accidentally close it? I'm not sure about that. So we're gonna leave that window up, but let's get moving. Now, do we have keys down here that do things? I guess we'll just do it this way. Oh, we're moving. We got, we got smoke chuffing out. <laughs> it's a little, uh, a little simplistic on the smoke, but you know, there's always room for improvement. We have a steam loco when it's moving, so I'm excited. Okay, so we'll use the independent brake as we come up. It's got a nice sense of like weight and movement to it. I love that you can quill the whistle. That's awesome. Definitely made by people that love trades. Oh, she gets right with it. All right, this is our independent brake. How, how breaky is that? <laughs> okay, very cool. So I'm assuming we need to kind of line up with the pipe. All right. Bring the shoots to stop before it passes a water column. Yep. Using either camera, find the water hatch at the rear retender. It's pulling. Yep, yep, yep. And click on it to open it. Wow, that's easy. I like it. Okay, this is where we fill. Do, 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 do. We need to line the water column at this point. It doesn't even. Okay, so we got that. Water is blah. Click the water column spout to rotate it into position. Can do, boss. Oh, and it just does it. Nice. There's no faffing around. 
Uh, is there somewhere on here that tells me how much water we have? There's the break that it was talking about. What's that do? A realistic and simplified. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything on here that tells me. Oh, the water will automatically stop once your tender is full. Okay. Once you've got enough water, stow the spout and close the hatch. Coal is next. All right, let me put a cut in here and we'll move forward when we're full of water. Well, it didn't take long at all. That was about 15 more seconds. And you can see the water is up there and then yeah, it, it turned itself off and erased the thing. So we'll close that. Now I'm guessing we need to move up here ahead of the uh, chute. But let's uh, stop the, uh, under the chute, click the chute and it will lower. All right, let's do that. Oh, I love, I, that's my, that's my favorite feature for sure. Right there. You can quill the whistle. Got the pop off kind of lighting off there every once in a while. Cool. I can't wait to dive in and like actually, you know, understand how this game works. This is a first look, so it's going to be a little rough as I learn the game. I'll be making other videos where we'll, you know, make an actual railroad. And hopefully I'll kind of know what I'm doing by that point. All right, click on it to lower it. There we go. Holes pouring into the bunker. And it's got kind of a fill texture, kind of like Farm Sim if you played Farming Simulator. And I'll have to see how the volume is. When this gets rendered out. I had to turn it down quite a bit just because this dynamo is so incredibly loud compared to everything else. So hopefully that'll be sorted by the time you guys get your hands on it. All right, is that done? It looks like it's done. Oh, there's not enough coal to fill the tender. We should have plenty of fair work. Click on the chute to stow it. Done. Let's see about rescuing our other engine derailed during the flooding. Okay. Let's get our bearings. We're stopped on the yard and engine service lead. Yep. So there we can see, uh, we can see a little more of the world. Looks like we got a sawmill over there. And then this engine over here is derailed. The main line runs east-west, and her head end is pointed toward the western end of the railroad. Okay, so we're looking north, apparently. Open the map with M. Oh, there's a map. Oh, and it has tracks on it. Who knew? <laughs> so we can move that around. Okay. Zoom out. Whee! I think there's like 50-some miles, but I'm not sure that's all done in the early access version. Control T to move your camera to the point your mouse is over. Uh, okay, cool. Nice. Find the derailed engine. Yeah, we found that. Need to use our engine to rescue the wreck. So use the overhead camera around to plan your path there. Okay, so we just need to get our engine over to this guy. And then we can uh, go ahead. All right, M to close it. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's move this thing from the cab. So if we hit that key, oh, that dynamo is loud. How do we turn the dynamo off? <laughs> Any of these little—I don't think we can click on these little knobbies. Unfortunately. So the default field of view is is a little uh, claustrophobic. So we'll use this zoomed out. I just wanted to get a feel for how these. Oh, it's got a bail off. I want to get a feel for how these uh, moved in, in the cab. You can also do the whistle from in here. Very nice. I assume you can grab this too. I have to look way up. Awesome. I'm loving it. The, the train sounds good too. So uh, we've got two green targets, so we can go up. We just need to get onto this track, right? And that goes, yeah, that goes back over there. And stick our head out the window. It's a nice linkage moving back and forth there. All right, let's get the uh, bottle off because we're going to want to glide to a stop here. 
How much breaking authority do we have? Decent amount. Do that center for now. I, I look forward to playing around with that and see. Uh, do they model like the valve timing and all that good stuff? Oh, interesting. So your camera just stays. Now it was, was it uh, control two? Shift two. There we go. Shift two will bring your external camera back over to your selected locomotive. All right. So we want to throw this bad boy. And then we're going to move down to here. That one is thrown. Oh, it's a Y switch. So it's green. That's the normal position. All right. So we just need to ease down. Okay. So it wants us to go down to the wreck, but not close enough to couple to it. About 20 yards ahead of it. Roger that. All right. Shift two again. And let's get on back here. Put that in reverse, release the independent. Give her some beans. Oh yeah. They got that nice bass note. Oh, there was something where I could track it. It's not tracking me for some reason. I don't remember how that works. I go back to the cameras real quick. Setting switches, engine controls. Perspective, middle mouse, space bar. No, somewhere it, uh, it told me about setting the, uh, the brakes. Here it is. Shift two. Okay, yeah, that centers it. How do I, I thought it would track me. Maybe not. I'll figure that out later. All right. So we're up here to re-railing. All right. So let's get up here. Uh, we need to be about 20 yards from it, it said. So we'll back up a little more. About there-ish. Okay, the engine was a victim of the flood waters. All this water and coal. So we need to repair this engine because it was in the, in the flood waters. Uh, walk alongside the derailed engine and tender for each. Hover your mouse over it and hit shift R repeatedly to until the wheels are fully. Okay, so we actually walk up to it and re-rail it. Gotcha. So we got to get up out of the seat. Basically, if you walk up to the seat, you like sit in it. And then if you just walk away, you get out of the seat. Uh, the default FOV is a little little narrow, so I'm trying to find a happy medium here. Walk alongside the derailed engine and tender. Hover. Okay, so we have to hover our mouse over. That's the easy way. I've actually watched um, them rerail a steam locomotive a long time ago when I was a kid. We were, I forget where we were. We, my dad was into steam, so we were always going to these steam, like old threshers shows. And somewhere up in Iowa, they had one with track and a little loco. It's like, I don't know if it's like a 260 or it was pretty small. And it had derailed. So I spent like two hours watching them rerail it. I was fascinated. Lots of jacks and cribbing and all kinds of stuff going on. All right, so if we hover over and we hit Shift R. Oh, look at that. Well, that was easy. <laughs> That's cool. It's all animated and everything. All right, hover over that. So that moves it like a little bit, and then we hit it again, and it gets it up on the rails. Cool. Oh, and it tells us how much coal and water's in there if you hover over it. There we go. We got 3,994 gallons of water in our tender. Okay, uh, it might be able to couple the direct with your engine. Okay, so now we got a couple up to it. Uh, the draw bar is still in place. I'm going to assume they're hooked together. Now do we have a... Okay, we've got a coupler here. 
And do we have an uncoupling lever? We do have angle cocks, so that's cool. Oh, here's the lever. Does it animate it or anything? No, there's no like pin. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's. Anyway, let's. Sorry, I could just spend an hour exploring everything, but you guys want to see stuff happen. So let's hop back in the cab. Actually, do I have to be in the cab? I don't have to be in the cab to drive this thing, do I? I and mean, that's the whole point of having the controls. Is it selected? So we can we can play um, switchman and conductor or whatever you want to call it, brakeman. So let's get back here and let's get eased back in here and let's get coupled up. And it wants us to couple below five miles an hour, which makes sense. Independent on. Need a little bit of speed probably to make sure we're coupled. There we go. All right. I feel like that locked in. With the damage engine in tow, bring it up past the switch to use access track. You might need to use more to shove back past it into the engine shed. Okay, so we need to take the damaged engine into the engine shed. Roger that. All right, well, I'm going to actually hop on this guy. And we're going to go back to our external view. Maybe I maybe I was not remembering right. I thought there was a way to have this camera track the engine. But anyway. All right, so let's get this thing over to the shed. So we want to go back to forward. Release independent. Okay, the tender's also on the move, so that's good news. Oh, she's stepping out with authority. I like it. Oh, follow. Hey, there's a follow button. <laughs> Somehow I got out of follow mode. Sometimes you just got to look at the screen. It's okay. You can delete those, like, sub and angry comments. Hey, dummy, look at the screen. Oh, we got a little bit of a grade here. The smoke looks good once it gets going. It's changing colors too, so that I, I look forward to seeing how much actual simulation there is in this. Get a good clean burn. Like, I don't know a whole lot about firing Steam Locos, so I've got a lot to learn. Just get a little bit independent on. Do we get squeaky brakes? I hear like linkages and stuff. I didn't hear any squeaky brakes. Nice. Is that the water pump? It sounds kind of like a injection pump. All right, we are lined all the way back up. Do we need to get? Okay, so we're lined into there, and then that'll take us right back into the engine shed. Okie dokie. Let's do it. Nice uh, distance attenuation on the sounds there. So reverse. Bail that off. Bring her on back. Oh, look at the look at the smoke roll out of there. We slipped the wheels. <laughs> I want to I want to break it, but no, I don't want to break it. I'm good at breaking things, so I might have to spend some time trying to break stuff and see what needs to be fixed. But I think we'll get this back in the shed and we'll call that a first video. I don't want this to go on too long, but I will I will continue through the tutorial. I think there's at least another video's worth of content in the tutorial. And then I look forward to uh, diving in, starting my own railroad and figuring out how everything works. And uh, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, all the links will be down in the description. You can find it on the store, go wishlist it on Steam. 
and I'll try to remember to put a link to their YouTube channel as well. They've got a bunch of videos about the game where you can learn lots more about it, what's all coming, because there's there's a lot to this. There's a whole economy and like CTC signaling, and there's a, there's a lot going on. Let's get this guy back in the shed. Like so. Okay, bring it blah, blah. inside the shed. Change to the first person camera and get on the ground between your tender and the damage. And click the coupler. Okay, so we just click on the coupler to uncouple. All right. So I'll go back to first person. Oh man, that that dynamo sound. I'm gonna hear that in my dreams tonight. <laughs> it's so loud. That's turned down fifty percent, by the way, in the uh, Windows volume mixer. I thought it was a bug. I fired this up and I, <laughs> I, I poked Adam on Discord. Sorry to bother. Sorry to bother you, Adam. Like, is this a bug or like what's going on? Okay, so you just click on those and they release. Got it. How do we how do we do this stuff? No. Okay. We'll follow the tutorial. It wants me to pull forward, get it out of the way, so we'll do that. I love the sounds. They did a great job on the sound. Great job on pretty much everything so far. I mean, it's it's an early build of an early access, so it's doing amazingly well. Inside the shed, go to the ground. Okay, now this, now that the wreck is on repair track, we need to hire a shop worker to get it repaired. Okay, now we're going to get into like the company aspect of it. Open the company window with I. Or we have, if you hover your mouse up here. Oh, okay. So there's the tutorial. So we could open it back up. So we got console. Company is a little house station. Train station window. Uh, locations tab. East Whittier Engine Service. Where it is and what tracks it has. Oh, and you hover. Nice. Very cool. We don't have anything in storage. We don't have any shop crew. Okay, we have no shop crew. Hire one or two by clicking the hire button. So they'll start tomorrow. Let's hire two. Uh, they, oh, they're still paid even if there's no work to do. Good to know. Waybills. Way Okay, so I think this is going to continue on into more company stuff. So I'm going to put a uh, cut here and we'll pick up in, with the company stuff in the next video. Thanks as always for watching, folks. Check it out on Steam and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.